This game was installed by default with Windows XP when it was released back in 2001. It is a fun game, all my friends were playing it and we were competing who will get the highest score. 17 year old me was quite competitive so I started hacking the scores. How did I do that? Well, games back then were saving the high scores and game data somewhere locally. Most of the apps were writing data in files or in rare cases in the Windows registry. I checked and edited all the files of the game and I couldn't find anything, so I checked the registry. Windows registry is huge and searching for data is tedious if you are not specific. So to be able to find the correct place without messing around, I will make high scores and add specific names. I will need all 5 high scores populated, you will see why later. Most important thing is that the game is saving the high scores to the registry only when closing the application. So I need to close the game and then do the search. I learned this the hard way. If I search the registry, you can see that I find this name in only one place. Now the fun part. As you can see the high scores are saved in this registry key as number values. I will make a backup of the registry key first. Let's try to modify the scores. If we now start the game and check the scores, you will see that there are no scores. So somehow the game is checking if the scores are legit, if they are not then it deletes all of the high scores from the registry. Let's now restore the backup. If you check the values in the registry key, you will see a value named verification and it has a number. By the look, the number is way larger than any of our scores. So what if this number is a sum of all our high scores? Let's see. We get a number similar but again lower than the verification value. Now this is a crucial part of the mechanics for calculating the verification value that I found out after wasting some time back then. Every character in any text in the computer world is actually translated into a number. Those numbers are known as the ASCII codes and as you can see every letter has its own ASCII code. Example, if I hold ALT and type 97 on the numpad, after I release ALT the computer will see this as like I type a small letter A. If I hold ALT and type 65, when I release ALT I get capital letter A. How is this important in our case? Well, if I sum up all the ASCII keys of each letter of each name in the high scores, I get this number. That's how much we are missing in the verification value. That's the missing link. Let's try now making our own custom high scores. I remember writing an app in Delphi 7 for making high scores automatically back then but I can't find the code in my old files. So I wrote a javascript that can do this instead. You can get it from the github link in the video description if for some reason you wanna try this. Game devs prepared us a nice puzzle, really good idea. I bet they actually made it this way on purpose to challenge people, because even back then it was easy to encrypt data that almost no one could decipher. It was quite fun reminding myself what I was doing as a kid. It's strange that I still remember how I did this. It's easy to find a cheat for a game nowadays, but back then there were no resources online so we were making our own cheats and cracks. Fun times. Probably someone else done this before me, but I wanted to document my memory from so long ago. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching.